Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check a new book which is published by Model Centrum Progress, it's written here. It is part of the Armor Cover Gallery, it's already 16th book and we have a fresh a release which is dedicated to camouflage and markings of Axis armor in the Balkan campaigns during 1940-1941. It's written by Jeffrey Plowman and now we have a chance to check it closer. So first of all I have to say that uh, we did not review any books from Model Centrum Progress before so that's why it is interesting to see what is actually printed inside. As you can see this is a soft cover book, um, there are 72 pages inside and here you can see what we have from the other side and here you have short description of the series, what you can expect from this book. So basically here we would get a lot of marking options which were used during these campaigns um, in Balkans. And I would recommend to read more in some additional books about this particular conflict because um, it is, I would say, quite underestimated topic and there are a lot of interesting info to know. So let's open it. Here is what we have inside, a lot of black cover, quite surprising I would say. Uh, next we have a contents page, so as you can see everything starts with introduction of course. Then we continue, I can even zoom in a bit so that you can see it closer. So we continue with uh, war in Albanian Epirus, then we go with uh, Bulgaria joins the Axis, then there is attack on Yugoslavia, invasion of Greece and Axis armor on Crete. And also we have cover plates, I wonder what does it mean, we would see it in this video review. We also have acknowledgements and then we go on with introduction. So first of all we have here a lot of black and white photos and to be precise there are 142 black and white photos. So on 72 pages we have 142 photos so it means almost on every page we would have a special black and white photo which might be useful not only for diorama ideas but also for some weathering ideas as you can see to know how dirt distributed on various vehicles, how they were damaged, how they were used, etc. etc. And note that each photo is accompanied with quite um, short but understandable description. So I guess you understand, uh, you know what is shown here or there. Well here for example we have Stuck 3 and this might be an interesting subject both in 135 and 148 scale. If I'm not wrong, Tamiya has the 148 scale kit. And maybe there are also some 170 second scale kits. So you might build an interesting diorama. And as you can see, a lot of photos are in the cities, in the town atmosphere. Here we have even some auto. It's not written what auto is depicted here. Maybe some command out. Then here we continue with 184 Sturmgeschütz Abteilung. As you can see, those vehicles from this division are shown on these photos. Then we have more of those. And note that those are Italian tanks. And this is a M13-40. I don't remember the name of this tank, so if you know it, write in the comments below. Then here we have the various tanks. I guess this one is a Toldy, right? If I'm not wrong. Yes, it's Toldy 1. Then we continue here with various wheeled vehicles, other armored units. Here you can see the Leichter Panzer Spachwagen, if I'm reading it right. Then we continue with tanks, more tanks. It's already Panzer 3. Then here we have Panzer 3 again. And those might be interesting ideas or scenes for diorama projects. So I would recommend to check it closely if you would purchase this book. And oh, here is quite interesting shot. As you can see, that's SLG 33. I'm not sure who is producing this kit, but I surely remember that there is a kit in 135 scale. Um, and here we have the cover plates. So cover plates, I guess, those are uh, cover profiles, basically. So we have them for several vehicles. Here you can see SDEC FZ 253. 
And here it's written that all cover plates in this book except the front cover are reproduced to 135 scale. So I can guess that means that we have here the uh, size um, in 135 scale, so the assembled model will have exactly this size. So it might be a useful feature if you would like to copy some uh, elements of those uh, profiles on your vehicle. You would know where to precisely, very precisely to apply them and how to apply them on your tank. Here you can see by the way the told you. And by the way here you can notice some other books from this series. And there are even some books dedicated to aircraft, so it is quite interesting. So to sum up, there are 72 pages all color print with black and white photos, even though this might sound weird, 25 full color profiles, which we saw in the end, and price for all this stuff will be around 30 British pounds. So, in my opinion, it is quite reasonable. Um, I would say book with various photos, with various information for those who would like to depict early stages of the World War II, and for such price you would get a lot of black and white photos uh, which cover not only the German tanks but also some other tanks, Italian and Hungarian. So, and some shots are quite rare, they were not seen before, so they will be um, worthy addition to your library in my opinion. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this book, write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual, bye!